Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you could join me again today. I wanted to talk about wind. Our valley has been uh, under assault with the Santa Ana winds, probably some of the strongest that I've seen uh, since I have lived in this area. Uh, since 1984, it's the strongest that I've seen. And I just want to talk about how difficult it is for us to deal with strong winds. Listen to this. It says in uh, James chapter 3, verse 3, it says, If we put the bits in the horse's mouth so they'll obey us, we direct their entire body as well. What I'm talking about is how do you, how do you get control of yourself? How do you get control of what you say? Look at the ships also. Though they are so great and are driven by strong winds, we are, are still directed by a very small rudder wherever the inclination of the pilot desires. So in other words, you've seen ships, sailing ships perhaps, that when they're sailing, the wind just moves them along quickly through the water and someone is able to control the direction of that ship with a very small rudder. Now listen how it applies to us. It says, so also the tongue is a very small part of the body and yet it boasts of great things. See how great a forest is set aflame by such a small fire, and the tongue is a fire, a very world of iniquity. What happens is we, uh, we can control a ship with a rudder, but it's really hard for us to control ourselves uh, with the use of our tongue. In other words, what we say. A lot of times people say things and they regret they've said it, wish they could take it back. Other times, we just let it rip. We just say, say things regardless of how it hurts other people. The truth is you know a person who's under control of God and who has maturity when they are under the control of their speech and they're very careful what they say. When it's comparing it to the wind, what it's just basically saying is there are forces, spiritual forces in the world today and you're going to be driven by one or the other once one spirit is evil the other one is good when you're controlled by and, and moved through life by god and his holy spirit his good spirit you're going to go to the right place and you're going to be a lot more fruitful in your life when you don't have control over what you say i'm going to tell you why it's because god's not in control of your tongue so what do you do about it? I mean, the strong winds are going to come and you're going to be driven one way or the other. It's much better to be under control. The only way you can get under control of your, what you say, your tongue, is by a relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. I'm telling you the truth. I know that he's able to transform my life. I know he can change your life and give you help in that area. What say? Come and check us out. Come and visit our church. You'll be glad you did. And so will I.